Hello my golden year friends, this is Lala and welcome to part 2 of my foundation extravaganza. The first part was about uh, why our foundation could separate and I'm going to link that one below so you don't have to stop this and go back, they're interchangeable, so no worries there. What foundation is right for mature skin? Foundation is a form of makeup. <laughs> Duh. Its purpose, though, is to create an even base for the rest of your makeup. And the right formula can help you cover blemishes, dark spots, correct your skin tone, blur imperfections, that's so important, and create an overall smooth and even canvas. What are the types of foundations, you ask? Well, it's not a one-size-fits-all, as we know. Formulas are based on your preferred consistency, the amount of coverage you want, and the finish you're looking for. So if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and ding my bell so you will know when I'm covering these type of videos. And hopefully you are leaving feedback and suggestions in the comment section below so that I can get to exactly what you want to, want to hear. Now, we're going to get on to the meat of this program. Five types of foundation formulas you should know. Okay, number one is liquid foundation. Now, it's one of the most popular options out there, and it's just what it sounds like. It's liquid. And I'm going to link a few that I use up above, as if you didn't know what uh, liquid foundations are. But these, top, these three that I have here have been wonderful for my skin type, which is dry. The next is cream foundation. This type of foundation has a creamier, thicker consistency, and it's, it's really preferred by mature, dry skin. And this one is lovely. This is by L'Oreal. Age Perfect 4-in-1 uh, Balm. It goes on nice and creamy. It's lovely. You can get it in any drugstore. I'll link, of course, to all the products that I have told you about in the description below. Now we have powder foundation. Now this is something that um, people with oily skin tend to gravitate to because it can be layered on and, it, and it's a lighter coverage. Now, Mature Skin is also a fan of this powder. And this is the one I use is by Bare Minerals, and it's pressed powder, and in the cover, cover in the color medium. And it's what's nice about the powder is it doesn't seem to sit in the fine lines and wrinkles as do some liquids. It's all about the formula. All right, now then there's a serum foundation. This is a trendy type of foundation. It's a variation of the standard liquid foundation. Its formula contains a syrup, making it kind of a skincare makeup hybrid. So this is also the one I just showed you. It is a serum based. So it says age perfect. Of course, it's for eight, our age. It's infused with firming serum. Now, if you don't like a cream, they also make a um, liquid formula of the same age perfect. It also contains all the added benefits of a serum. And a lot of people like to uh, use these type of foundations because they have a serum in them and they don't have to do any skincare with serum and then they go straight to their uh, foundation. Last but not least is our finishes, foundation finish. There's a natural finish. This finish is what closely resembles your skin. It's neither matte nor dewy. Then there is a matte finish, which this finish is shine free, making it popular option for those with oily skin. And then there's the dewy finish, and I love this. This finish is radiant and glowing, which is why those with dry skin tend to gravitate toward it. Gravitate, gravitate toward it. Tongue twister day. Now all of this can seem daunting, I know, because you have to pick a formula, you have to pick a coverage, and you have to pick a finish. It's just, you don't have to do any of that, but it's best if you want a flawless coverage. You want, you know, something you don't have to think about. And once you get this down, then when you go to purchase your makeup, if it's a new kind, you'll know exactly what to look for. Okay, next week's video is going to be about 12 makeup mistakes we as mature women can make that will make us look older. Oh, oh we can't have that. All right. So please, have a wonderful day, and try not to step in anything squishy, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.